Yes! Yes! Happy Friday, everybody. Uh, I'm actually filming this on, on Wednesday, but this is going to go up on Friday. So, uh, on uh, April 1st, 2020. And this is a very special campfire. This is one of my uh, favorite things to talk about. And sometimes I feel... Um, I mean, I'm not, a, I'm not, a, I'm not an expert, um, uh, uh, except for that I just have a lot of experience with it. Anyways, <laughs> so we're going to talk about bourbon tonight, and uh, it's, it, I want it to be kind of one of those fun little things, because again, this is a lifestyle channel, and I think part of my lifestyle is that, yes, I like to eat big, and I like to have really good food, I like to lift heavy, but heavy freaking weight, and, and get really strong, and I do worry about my health, but the other part of that health is also my uh, emotional and mental health. And one of the things that I enjoy to do is have a, a pleasant, delightful cocktail uh, once in a while. So uh, so we're going to start it off with one of my favorite brands. Um, <sighs> mm, Evan Williams. Yes. And I think uh, it's really important that I bring out the big guns. So here we go. We're going to go shaky cam for a second. I'm going to show you all what we're doing. So we've got... We've got the uh, regular black label, which is on, on your left. <laughs> and then you have Evan Williams Bonded, which is the white label. You have Evan Williams Single Barrel, which is the third one over. And then over here, that, that, little, that little tasty taste of the freshy fresh, that is the Evan Williams 12-year that you can only get at the Evan Williams Experience in Louisville, Kentucky. Now, and it is a price, and it is a very, it's a very, it's a very pricey bottle. I'm only saying this because I want you to know that this is a very special occasion, and that's why I'm bringing it out for you guys. Okay, so, what we're going to do, I'm going to teach you guys how to uh, taste bourbon, uh, and also to drink it, so that way... You still feel the Kentucky hug, but it doesn't hit the back of your throat, and you go, blah, 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 and then you don't hit, and then you don't enjoy bourbon. So, uh, the first thing you need is you need one of these glasses. You're not going to look at the back of what it says over here because I don't, I don't like them. Here, I'll just do that. So, yeah. <laughs> so you need one of these uh, with a little bit of a bell, that sort of thing. And the reason why you want that is because it helps ki uh, catch all the vapor that you're going to be smelling. Okay. Uh, and when you're going to pour it, you're only going to pour it like right to the right to the line. Uh, where the bell stops before it starts shooting up there. So you're not you're not you're not trying to get drunk. You're trying to enjoy this and you're trying to taste it and that sort of thing. The other thing that I personally recommend is that you always have ice cubes ready to go because it's, it's one thing to drink it by itself, but once you put an ice cube in it, it completely changes the experience. So we're gonna go ahead and start with the their uh, flagship, which is the Evan Williams Black Label. Here you go. Here, here's a quick little video so you can kind of see what it's at. This is the one that I always like to have on my personal bar. I think uh, as a, as a mixer, it it works with everything. It's great for Manhattans. It's great for old fashions. It's great for uh, bourbon and gingers. Uh, but I also feel like it's a, it's a good enough bourbon you can have it on the rocks or just neat. Uh, also, especially when you're making a Kentucky cocktail, uh, which is basically a shot in a beer. This is one. Of, this is one of the best bang for your buck bourbons you could ever get. I mean, I think the bottle is fourteen dollars here in, in in Ohio, which is pretty darn good. I think it's even a little bit cheaper in Kentucky. Um, but anyway, okay. So let's. I'll show you exactly how much we're supposed to pour in here. And I don't have a pour spout, so I'm going to be as careful as possible. Because again, we're not trying to get in, super intoxicated. You want about that much. There we go. That's about a. I think it's about an ounce. So maybe I am getting drunk. Whoopsie! I'm say, what better, what better way to uh, enjoy life than to watch me get drunk on video? Great, cheers. Okay, so, so you have your glass, you have your little snifty snifty. Okay, it's a snifter. Okay, you can get a bigger one or a smaller one. The smaller one is, I got it for free and it works perfect. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna, it's kind of like when you're tasting wine. You wanna tip it on its side, you wanna kind of take a look at it, get the light to come through it. As you can tell, it's a little bit of like a honey kind of color for, the, for this, for this uh, bourbon, at least in this, in this lighting. So it's a little bit paler than most other bourbons and stuff like that. And then the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take one nostril, not both. You don't wanna get your whole nose in there like you would with wine. You wanna get like a little bit, just like a... Okay, and you gotta keep your mouth open when you breathe through your nose. It's a very intense flavor going to go through your nose, and it's going to make you go, and definitely try not to get your nose too far in there, because if you get that up your nose, you hate your life. So here we go. Hmm. So right now, what I'm smelling, personally, this is what, uh, I smell like maple leaf. Go with me on this. Okay, I'm, I'm <laughs> again, I'm not an expert. This is just what I'm smelling. So it's definitely, uh, the, the whole way that, that bourbon is made is that it's, it is uh, whiskey, 
uh, that is um, that is distilled out of 51%, at least 51% corn, and then depending on what type of mash build they have, they either add rye or wheat to be able to change the flavor all the way up. If it's complete corn, then it's just it's just plain corn whiskey. But I think uh, especially especially bourbon uh, is a little bit more corn, but they usually have wheat or rye to kind of uh, bring out the different flavors. I believe this is more of a rye. Don't quote me on that. Uh, this is definitely not a sweeter bourbon. Lives would be like a Maker's Mark or a Larceny or something like that, um, or even a Weller. Weller is a is a is another. Um, you, you can find uh, Weller at some places, but this is one of those ones again. It's a very balanced, very easy uh, smelling, uh, very mild bourbon. So now here's the tricky part. Okay, so what I want you to do, so if you got your cup, if you're doing this with me, this is great because this is the best time to learn it. So what you want to do is you want to take your cup, you have it right here. And you hold on to it for a second. What you're going to do is you're going to take your tongue and, you're in, you know, you know your tongue is kind of flat. You want to make a bowl out of it, kind of, kind of like that. And what you want to do is you want to take a little sip and, like, just enough to, like, make sure that it kind of sits on, on that little bowl. And then don't drink it yet because what you want to do is roll around your tongue and get all the different flavors. And then you're going to slowly drink it down. And then you're going to um, kind of suck in air through your mouth, so that way it kind of aerates it. That, that sort of thing. It's kind of like, um, I think when people are doing it with wine, what they do is they can kind of turn their mouth down and they like breathe in through, uh, through the wine. It's kind of like that, it's just not as intense, because it's, a very, it's going to be a very intense flavor. So, there we go. Nostrovia, that, that for my friend Chris. Oh, that sounds good. Ooh, okay. So I haven't actually tasted this in a while. Um, and I'll tell you what, the maple is definitely coming out. Uh, it's like a maple with like a little bit of vanilla extract. Um, very easy. It's a lot more on the front of the tongue, which means it is a little bit sweeter, but it's not super sweet. It's not, um, it's not syrupy. Um, a little bit more on the sides of the tongue as well. Uh, and the nice thing is that it does have a Kentucky hug, but it's not like a... Ah! A Kentucky hug is like a little bit of burning sensation. It goes right down here, kind of, mmm. So, um, and you know, when you get a good Kentucky hug, it is magical. So, okay. So that's not bad. That's pretty darn good. Like I said, $14 a bottle. But again, so here's the next part. So you have that. You take it in. You can get another sip because you always give me more information. Mmm, 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 that second time is, mmm, hits just right. The first time it's pretty good, but when you get it the second time, oh, so good. So now, this is the most important part, because you got a little bit left, okay, you don't want that to go to waste, but there's more, there's more flavor, so you got to do this. So here we go, we're going to do this, there we are, there we go, and we're going to swirl it around a little bit, it's it, it a little melty, but it's okay, and they're like, wait, what are you doing, you're diluting it. No, 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 no. We're changing the chem the chemistry of of it. So this is this is very again. This is this is a long video. This is very important. This is practically uh, a religion for me when it comes to to drinking bourbon. Uh, it's not completely a, a religion, but I mean I'm also Catholic. <laughs> Whatever. I digress. Uh, so anyways, so there you go. So you swirl it around a little bit. Okay. You, you know, maybe if, I think you might not want to warm up the glass. So if anything, hold it right there. Okay. Same same idea. So we put the ice cube in. I got this over here. Oh. Oh, that's fun. Ooh. Okay, so now this is what's interesting. So, because again, I've never actually done a tasting with, with Evan Williams. And so this is this is an experience for me in itself. Um, after me putting in the ice cube, I actually get a lot more oak flavor. I don't know why, like, I don't know, the maple's gone, but I get a lot more oak. Because, I mean, it was aged in a, in a, in a charred white oak barrel. So, so here we go. Let's dive in. Oh gosh. Ooh. Okay. Okay, now I'm gonna get real crazy. I'm gonna start talking about charred butter or like or like burnt butter. You know, like when you when you brown the butter or whatever and, and you're gonna cook something. That's what it tastes like. It's quite good. Uh um, the sweetness has actually kind of gone a little bit. It's, uh, mm. 
Got to go in for more information. Yeah. Mm. Oh, that's great. Excellent. Yeah, no. So this is this is the exciting thing about bourbon. So I'm going to dump this. That, that was just ice and a little bit of like a dribble dribble. And I got to rinse it out. I got to, well, wipe it down a little bit because, you know, we don't want to counter contaminate. Uh, Contaminate the other the other bourbon. You got to get them. Got to get super fresh. So there we go. I have to wipe my nose because of course my nose is running while I'm having a video again. Gosh darn it. Anyways, okay. So now we're gonna bring the second one out. This is another one of my favorites. Evan Williams bonded. Okay. So now the di the difficult thing. Okay. So the, the the important thing about bonded barrels is that and I might screw this up. Just like again, I'm not a, I'm not a not a uh, a um, expert. Um, I just really enjoy it. But with bottled and bond, it's very important that all of these bottles are kept, uh, like all of these barrels that these are pulled from are all from the same thing. They have to be bottled at 100 proof. That's the important part. So this is, uh, so, so the black one is uh, 86 proof. Nothing wrong with that. 86 proof is fantastic. But when you get that 100 proof, it gets a little it's a little spicier. It's a little more flavor. Um, and I think uh, when they do it... Okay, hold on. Actually, in accordance with these standards, this bourbon is 100 proof, aged at least four years, and produced at a single distillery within a single distillation season. So, this isn't like taking a... So, generally, whenever they're making, like... This whiskey, what they'll do is they'll take different barrels and blend it so that way they can get a very consistent flavor. Now, with this one, on the other hand, they say, all right, so this lot of barrels right here, they got put in there. Those barrels are the only ones they're going to use to make this bonded bourbon, okay? Just one of the short trade. Okay, so I'm not going to do as much this time because this is going to be a long video, and I don't know if you guys are ready for a 30-minute video watching me get drunk. So there you go. There you go. Just a little bit. Just proving that I'm having, so again, this is, this is Evan Williams bonded, okay? There we go. Yeah, that's pretty reasonable. It's a very reasonable pour. Okay, now look at this. Oh, look at that. You see, you see the difference in the color, how it's a little bit darker? Um, it's a little, well, um, let me think. What kind of color? Would, now this, it'd be more like, um, like a, an iced tea flavor, like, look, at least what I'm, what I'm seeing. So it's a, it's a bit darker than, than the other one. That's a more like honey look. Also, random aside, Evan Williams Honey Reserve, very good, very good. Especially add that with sweet tea. It's such a refreshing drink. It's so tasty. Okay, so let's get let's dive into this one. This is uh, Evan Williams Bonded. Here we go. Ooh, okay, so. Okay, so the first one <clears throat> that we had wasn't as uh, alcoholic flavory on the nose. This one's definitely like, hey, I'm here. I'm alcoholic. And you're like, oh, okay. Um, so this one's, this, one's ready to, this one's ready to party. The, the other one was ready to party, but this one's really ready to like, let's do some things. So, okay. Here we go. Cleanse the palate. And. Mm-mm-mm. Woo! There it is. I can already feel it. It's going to come. It's going to... Whew! There it is. Right there. Mmm! So good. Okay. I'm going to need more information on this. Because, again, it's a little bit higher proof. Uh, it's got... It's a little... It, it kind of evaporated a little bit in my mouth. But... But, again, more on the tongue, but a little bit more on the side this time. Um, what does it taste like? This had a little bit more caramel in it then. Caramel and vanilla as opposed to maple. Um, again, this is my own opinion. I'm probably wrong. That's the great thing about opinions because then you can be wrong, but it's still your opinion, which means you still win. Yay. So, <laughs> so there's that. So I'm going to drink my bourbon. I'm going to enjoy myself. Oh, wait, I think that's about right to be able to add in a, a nice cube. So let's get this ice cube in here. Okay. So we're going to, we're going to pick up the pace a little bit because I, I need to, Oh, it's okay. It's fine. It's all fine. It's all good. It's okay. God made cat hair, and that won't hurt my bourbon, right? Oh gosh, I'm going to hell. <laughs> it's okay. I did not spill the bourbon. That's the most important thing. Okay. You know, swirly, swirly, swirl, swirl. Okay, here we go. 
It's enough. Ooh, see, okay, so now adding the ice cube makes it smell a little more, a little bit mellower, that sort of thing. It's a little bit more. Hmm. So again, this might this might actually be my normal go-to when it goes down to rocks. Again, like I said, the black label you could definitely have on the rocks, but this one, especially if on the so okay, fourteen dollars, eighteen dollars, and it's fantastic. Just buy it. I'm just saying. Okay, here you go. Three, two, one. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Oh, now that now 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 we're getting okay. This is this is gonna throw you guys for a loop. Um, apple pie crust, not apple pie. Apple pie crust. You know how it's like a little crummy, kind of like a graham cracker, but not full graham cracker. Oh yeah, it's just a just a dash of cinnamon and brown sugar. Um, still got the caramel, but it, um, uh, but it's more of a mellow caramel. It's not like the, the, it's not like Twix caramel. Um, mm, so good. So, I mean, again, $18 and it's a fantastic bourbon. You should buy Evan Williams Bonded, especially if you can find it. It's, I mean, I'll, I'll see what I can do. You need any help? Leave it down in the comments. I'll see if I can help you find it, find it. Cause you know, that's kind of my thing. I love finding, uh, um, alcohol in all places. Eh, it's a gift. So, let's all of you. So good. All right, all right. Okay, we gotta clean this out. Now we gotta get to the other one. Now, I, I will let you know that I'm probably not gonna do an ice cube. Eh, no, I, you know what? I will do an ice cube with the, with the 12 year. And I'll tell you why, because I gotta be fair. If it, it, I mean, it's only gonna make it better. It's not diluting it. It's not like you're, I'm not gonna, I'm never gonna mix that one, for sure. Now. So now we got our third one. This is our uh, Evan Williams single barrel. Look at that. Such a beautiful thing. So, and it's also kind of a, it's a cheeky little thing that, that uh, bourbon places like to do is they like to take their bottles and they'll they'll cork them and then they'll dip them in wax just to kind of prove that like, by the way, it's sealed and it's safe and all that kind of stuff. I know some places like they wrap it with plastic. Ugh. It's classy, you know, it's okay. You know, bourbon is classy. Bourbon's classy. I think bourbon's classy. Um, it's a working man's drink, but at the same time, classy working man drink. Whatever. All right. This is important. Ooh. See? Isn't, isn't that fun? Watch it. You didn't smell the cork. From like 76. I'm kidding. Whatever. No, actually, you know what time it was from. And this is amazing. So... If it's small, if it's a single barrel, it'll, it'll it means it's from one barrel, and they took that barrel and just put it in this bottle. So that barrel, it was barreled on the 9th of twenty twelve, Fe uh, February 9th, twenty twelve, and it was barrel number four eight zero. Okay, this was barreled February 29th, ninth, twenty twelve. This is a leap year bottle. This is crazy. What? I should what? This is amazing. So. I mean, that's the fun thing. And then you can kind of see, like, they give you the information of, like, where it came from. I don't think they do that in wine. But, you know, I don't I don't, I don't know. Because I don't do wine. I don't know. I gotta blow my... Ugh. Okay. Now, let's get to it. Back to important business. Ooh. Okay. There we go. There we go. That's it. That's it. See, that's a better pour. I, I'm, I'm trying to be uh, judicious with my pours. I don't want to go overboard. Okay. Look at that. So the nice thing is that also putting the ice in the glass is actually kind of chilling the glass a little bit. Oh my goodness. Okay, so let's look at this color. Okay, so this is a bit more of an amber. Okay, so it's not really honey. It's not really the uh, what we had said for the other one, more like iced tea. So it's a little bit kind of in the middle. Uh, it doesn't appear to be as viscous. I didn't even talk about that. So sometimes when you when you swirl it around in the glass, it'll kind of leave a little. Oh, actually, it's sticking pretty good. This is, look at the. Okay, it's called legs. Uh, you'll you'll see it on, on on wine specifically, but sometimes you'll see like little lines of the of the liquid uh, being stuck to the. No, oh, that's fantastic. I mean, I, I see. I personally like a little bit more viscous viscosity when it comes to bourbon. Sometimes the the ones like uh, Basil Hayden, which is fantastic. The flavor is delightful. But um, it's just too light. 
I don't know. I like, I like, it's kind of like with dark coffee. I like to have that, that grit. I like to have that, uh, you yeah, know, that sort of, that robustness. So, okay, let's go ahead and get our nose into this. Okay. Ooh, okay, this is a whole other ball game. Yeah. Mmm. Okay, okay. So, I, I smell what you're stepping in. Again, the nice thing is that also when you do a single barrel, you never know what's going to happen. Because, I mean, they, they stick to the same recipe, but depending on what happens throughout the years, you know, um, apocalypse and all that, <laughs> things change, you know? And uh, it's, it's amazing how much it changes. Uh, there's another uh, bourbon that's really fantastic. It's the Old, Old Forester uh, birthday bourbon. Very difficult to find, but when you find it and you get a, and you get one for that year, it always knocks your socks off, um, and it's always different. That's the great thing about it. You know, it's just like life. It's like you think you know what you're getting, but you don't really know, and you're still going to enjoy it. So, cheers. Here we go. Oh, oh my. Okay, let me see. I got to do it again. Oh gosh, it, it's um. This actually smells like apple pie. I don't know where the apple pie is coming from. I haven't had apples in like three or four months. But I am getting apple pie with like a little bit of cinnamon, a little bit of brown sugar. And it's like, oh gosh, like, oh. So it's just making me think of like ice cream. Vanilla ice cream. There we go. Hold on. Oh, yeah. So this is like apple pie a la mode. Now I'm gone completely nuts. It's okay. It's fine. We can get this done in a half an hour. Oh, God. <laughs> Cheers, everybody. <laughs> Here we go. This is going to go up at, like, 5 o'clock when everybody's done working. Oh, gosh. Oh, interesting. Um, oh, oh, okay. So, I don't know why we're going with pie, but we're going with pie. Um, now here's the interesting thing. I'm not hating this. I'm not hating this at all. This is a fantastic. But doing that tasting, I got rhubarb. You guys even don't. You guys even know what rhubarb tastes like. But I know what rhubarb tastes like. A rhubarb pie. Oh, one of the most amazing pies ever, especially a la mode. But it's like a weird, like um, rooty sweetness. Uh, and again, like actually, this didn't have that much on the front of the tongue. It had mostly in the in the middle. Um, mm. But there's no Kentucky hug. What's up with that? Where where that? Where the hug? I want a hug. I need hugs, people. I need all the hugs. And I did not get a hug. I'm very disappointed. But let me let me. Okay, so the, it was 86 for the black label. It was 100 for this label. Let's check this one. So. This is 86.6. So this is a very metal, mellow um, proof. So that's probably why I didn't really get the hug. Um, it's still kind of sitting in the back of my throat, which is nice, but I, it didn't like, it didn't punch me in the face. So I, was a little, I don't know, it's okay. It's fine, it's fine, it's great. Hold on, we gotta go to the next thing. We got to, we have to, we must. It is important, this is science. We gotta put the ice cube in. And not drop it on the ground this time. <laughs> Good grief. I gotta move this over here. What are we doing? What are you doing? Good grief. As you can tell, I'm a professional. Uh, <laughs> ah, professional lush. That's fine. It's all good. Oh, I gotta turn that clock. No, we're gonna forget that, that you saw that. Sorry. Uh, if I could get Evan Williams sniffers, I'd be using those all the time. Because I know that they know how to make if they, I know they know how to make good snifters because they know how to make good bourbon. So cheers to that. Okay, so we got the ice cube in there. It's a little bit more melty, melty. There we go. And let's get our nose in that. Ooh, okay. Now we got... We got like a little bit of um, leather-y type of uh, smell. Um, a little bit more cherry. Okay, okay. Maybe that's where the rhubarb is coming from. Oh. Oh, oh, see, see, this is why you do it with the ice. This is what happens because then you get, you get something different. You're like, oh yeah, it's a cherry, so much cherry, 
like that's, that's that's surprising that is not what I expected at all um and I think what was nice about it is that um the roundness of the flavor and again we're, we're still I mean even with the water in there it's still pretty viscous so that's yeah that's pretty good that's a Ooh, that caught me off guard. That was fantastic. Um, that should be a one. That, that, this is going to be a wonderful bo bottle. Mm -hmm. And again, this is this is not one that you go like I'm going to go to have a kegger and I'm going to drink all of that. Like no, no, no. You you enjoy it. So okay, let me finish this. Oh my goodness, this is. Yeah, cherry, cherry. Um, and the hmm. Uh, Okay, so here's another weird one. This is another weird flavor. Uh, you know, like when you go to the doctor and you get like the, those tongue depressors or whatever, like those little wooden ones or whatever. Um, and uh, yeah, it's like it's like 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 it's like a little bit like the tongue depressor. It's kind of a weird like uh, I don't know if I would really like that, but it, it's a calming. I don't know flavor. I'm, I'm just talking crazy. Shoot. Okay, now we're getting at the big guns. Now this is very special. This is very special to me. I bought this uh, as a as a gift to myself, and I do not want to finish this bottle until I get engaged slash married. So actually, if I get to there, that's when I'm engaged. Okay, <laughs> to be married. I will not finish the rest of that until I have my own kid. That that's that's how long. That's how much I cherish this bottle. I may buy another one. But that's why it's this is this is such an important bottle to me. So the Evan Williams Twelve Year is it was a very surprising bourbon. I did not because again I, I I know Evan Williams for for this and for this and 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 I'm and I'm gonna I'm gonna be perfectly honest. I was completely caught off guard when I went to the to the tour to have uh, and and then they offered this bourbon to everybody. I was like. Whoa! This is okay. This is crazy. There's other ones that are, are are even older, but I think this one. Oh gosh, this is gonna be. This is gonna be. This is gonna be. Also, here. Okay, so here's another thing to be the, to be con, uh, consider when you are drinking bourbon. There, uh, it's aged in barrels, so it's got all those tannins, which normally happen with like red wine and stuff like that. That also kind of messes up your sinuses and stuff like that. So sometimes you'll wake up in the morning and you're like, I can't breathe. That's why. So. But, yes, Evan Williams, 12 year. This is 101 proof. Let's see if I can... Let's see. They set up their distillery on the banks of the Ohio River in 1783 and is historically recognized as Kentucky's first distiller of bourbon. This special bourbon is a genuine sour mash that honors his pioneering heritage. Let me see what's on the back of it. Uh, distilled in, uh, from a time-honored formula originated in 1783... And it's produced in the heart of Kentucky, of uh, Kentucky's bourbon country. Uh, this one is tw aged 12 years for a smoother, more complex flavor, which I can agree to that. Uh, world, uh, world renowned by bourbon lovers. Okay. So again, this is a very special, very, very special thing. And here's here, here's the interesting thing. So they had the single barrel and had the pop screw cap. What? What? Why? Why? Because it seals better, makes it last longer. That's why. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, we're gonna turn that glass around. You know, support them. We support Evan Williams. Evan Williams is my favorite. There you go. That's that's a proper pour. There you go. Now that that's an ounce. That's a half ounce pour. Actually, we're gonna we're gonna keep this one this bad boy in in the uh, in the in the video. So okay. Whew, we gotta get ready for this. This is gonna be a good one. So okay. Ooh, oh my goodness, God, I, every time I have this bourbon, it sparks joy. I mean, you know, like, it's like, it's like the Marie Kondo thing, like, I'm not getting rid of this, because it always sparks joy. <sighs> okay, I gotta, I gotta, I'm sorry, I gotta get my nose back in there again. I don't even know what it smells like. It's it smells it just smells it smells like wonderful. I I, I mean if if wonderful had a smell, it would smell like wonderful. So okay. Shall we dive in? Nostrovia. Oh, there it is. Mmm. 
a little bit of lavender. Mm. Mm. Ooh, a lingering flavor. Ooh, like um, Twizzlers. Freaking crazy. I haven't had, tw again, I haven't had Twizzlers in like years. And all of a sudden I could taste Twizzlers. But again, no hug. Like, like tingling, like right here in the middle of my tongue. But no, like, ugh, like I'm going to die. Like, you know what? I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep making things. And I'm going to add, I'm going to add the ice cube. We have to, we have to, I mean, we have to. It's, it's very important. So... So what I had said that that got caught off and all that is that I almost got like a little bit of strawberry cream on that on that uh, before adding the ice cube. Um, this is going to be very fun. This is going to be very exciting. Um, so yeah, we're probably going to do a, a weird cut and that sort of thing, and then we'll put that in. And it's going to be this is going to be a long video. I'm very sorry, um, but I, I I hope that you're staying with me and you're watching all of this, and, and I hope that you're enjoying me. Uh, get drunk i guess <laughs> in a classy way i mean i mean, I mean class it's a tasting it's fine it's like a wine tasting you know you're, i mean yeah you burn three 12 bottles of wine but you're tasting it's fine it's okay anyways Ooh, okay mm, okay here we go let's dive in Ah, there it is. You know what's interesting? Is that going back to this with the uh, with the ice cube, it almost comes full circle in that it literally breaks down the whole mash build for this. Like, I mean, I, I, it, it's crazy. Like, you can taste it. Like, you can taste how how separate everything is. Uh, breaking it up with the with the ice cube. Um, so many flavors. Uh, I have the one that comes to mind. I'm gonna have to get dive back in. Uh, but again, a little bit more char, a little bit more um, like beef jerky, maybe. Um, like that kind of flavor. A little smoke, just a touch bit of smoky. So, um, mmm, mmm. Yes, uh, definitely beef jerky, definitely uh, when it comes to typical flavor that you would have, it goes back to the vanilla that, that it has in the, in the, uh, in the, uh, the black label. So, um, yeah, so I, I hope that you guys stuck with me for, for the, through these shenanigans because it, it was a lot. <laughs> that was a lot of me just making weird noises and, and enjoying bourbon. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have anything that you would like to um, ask me, uh, if you have any recommendations, there's more than just these when it comes to Evan Williams. And I think that, because uh, uh, they're actually owned by Heaven Hill, I believe. Um, and there's plenty of things that you can definitely uh, dive into. I mean, I would love to do this for a couple other ones. If you want to see me do that, put it down in the comments because I'm more than happy to do it for you guys. I will sacrifice my liver for you. You're welcome. Uh, the other thing you can do is if you definitely like this video, give me a thumbs up. I'll take one. <laughs> and make sure to subscribe so that way you can pay attention to, or you can keep track of all my shenanigans because, of course, there's going to be a lot of them, uh, especially in the next month. Uh, and I love you guys. Make sure to drive safe. Make sure to always drink responsibly. Uh, and, you know, especially when you're going to be staying home. So talk to you soon. Love you guys, sexy beasts.